Hello again, News Plus Notes readers. We're still here at Carowinds, Copperhead Strike. And Pat, this is like Christmas at the Equinox for you. Sir, you, you put that very well. This is like my Christmas. This is like I've got a, a wonderful set of gifts and not just one. I got one big gift, but I got a lot of little gifts. Um, this whole area and being able to put this out in, in the public's view so everyone can see what we've been working on on the last year and a half to two years, it is absolutely like a, a wonderful holiday that you don't want to let go. Sun is shining. I'm speaking to you. We've got Copperhead Strike running in the background. It's a very good day, sir. Well, it's, it's, it's really nice to see. <laughs> Some people enjoying Copperhead Strike. Yeah, they're, they're, obviously they're enjoying it. But when we walked through the queue earlier, we just saw such an immersive themed environment that this is unlike anything we've seen here at the park before. You know what, sir? I, I couldn't have put it better. I'm just trying to tell you, I should be interviewing you because I like all the words that you use. That's exactly what we're going for, uh, an immersive experience, not just being able to ride a ride and say that you rode it, but to go through and be entertained while you're in the uh, queue line, that it has a lot of details, that tells a story, that gives you some background. Um, this is really and truly what we're after, um, to try and put people into a story, and at the end it culminates in a ride. So um, I'm glad that you noticed that. That's exactly what we were going for. And it took a lot of planning, a lot of detail, and quite honestly, I'm very happy with what uh, Mock did with the design of the ride and working with the rubber group to, um, to actually bring a lot of the story to, uh, to fruition. We we're extremely happy about it. Well, not only do we have Copperhead Strike, but you have the stolen flyers from Kings Island that we <laughs> want back. Oh, sir, you cut me to the quick. This is the mountain gliders. This is a Carowinds ride now. It was adopted by us a long time ago now. So I, all I can say is, King, all I can say is I'm happy that it's here. How about, a, how, how about that? Um, it's been a family favorite for a long time. Um, and quite honestly, when we took it out, we knew that this had to be a part of our package for this area. Um, we, uh, we have a lot of plans long in advance. And when it went away, I know people were a little, um, a little irritated with us and sorry to see it go. But we couldn't let something like that just go and sit in mothballs. We knew that it was going to be a part of our future. Um, but yes, the mountain gliders. And right beside the mountain gliders, you've got a, um, a busker stage where there's uh, entertainment and um, with bluegrass music and people uh, uh, actually celebrating the music of the, uh, of the mountains and, and that era. We're pretty excited about the gliders being with us. How about that? Well, it's a nice location for them because there's some people that are gonna be a little short to ride Copperhead Strike. And this gives them something to do right in the area to entertain themselves and still run over and watch the older members of the family ride. So here's the thing, uh, Blue Ridge Junction w is a total area um, and we wanted to make sure that there were details, we wanted to make sure there was immersion um, and when you build an area you want to make sure you're not just building an area for one style of person. You want to make sure that it's not just for thrill seekers or people that are looking for uh, a roller coaster. We wanted to make sure that uh, if there were people that don't ride coasters, that there was another attraction for them. And I think the gliders is a perfect thing. Or if you don't ride attractions at all, and you just want to sit by a fireplace and have a drink, or uh, just be quiet and still for a moment, or you want to have someone uh, show their skill and talent with playing a banjo or singing some music, um, we've got that for you. And if you want to have a nice little treat with blue ice cream, which we honestly used to be a part of our repertoire a long time ago. Um, we have that for you. If you want to go and pan for some gold, we've got that for you. And if you want to have a wonderful um, restaurant experience with comfort food, then we've got that for you. So we, again, we tried to make sure that there's something for everyone here. And, um, and again, there's more to come. Well, it's a tremendous expansion. Congratulations, and thanks so much for your time. Hey, sir, thank you for coming down. I, I got to tell you, I'm so happy that, again, there are people here to witness what we've got. Hopefully you'll give us some feedback, but quite honestly, 
I'm happy with the way it turned out, at least initially, and we're still growing. Wonderful. And to you, News Plus Notes readers, thank you also for watching.